<laughs> when it works, it works. <laughs> Welcome back to Ag with Emma. If you're new here, my name is Emma. I do farm handwork and farm tours all over the world at this point. Yeah, because I went to Australia last year and I came back and now I'm doing farm tours. And right now I'm in Texas helping plant corn. So that is what today's video is going to be about. It is February of 2023 and we are planting corn. We're actually done with it and I'm recording this intro afterwards because I didn't record one. So I'm with my friend Caroline. She's in South Texas and I met her off TikTok. Caroline Texas Farmer if you guys are on TikTok I'm trying to convince her to make a YouTube video a YouTube channel but I have known her for around a year now I've always been meaning to come down here and help out and planting season was the perfect excuse to do so because everywhere else is snowed in enjoying those negative degree wind chills and I'm down here in 80 degrees planting corn and it's just perfect so hope you guys enjoyed today's video remember to subscribe if you're not already and with that, let's get rolling. And just to kind of set the stage if you're new here, I have never really been a part of planting on this scale. And so what me and Caroline have mostly been doing is farm management. We've been running around trucks and seed and making sure everything is working and rolling. And it's been the crazy part of planting. And it's taught me a lot about how farming is not just being in the tractor, right? Cause I ran grain cart on harvest last year and that was great. But I was like, there's so much more I need to know. And this has been a great learning experience for that because I've seen how much goes on behind the scenes of that running tractor. So now we can get rolling. Little Duker's taking his first tractor ride. How Aww. you doing? Oh, you're so cute. <laughs> Auto steer equals pets. Yes. <laughs> already rolled in grease, talc, and an anthill, so having a puppy is definitely a little bit of a different vibe. <laughs> 20 bucks right there! <laughs> Dude, no! So Caroline is gonna go plant. I am here because this farm is like quite a ways away from their house and the shop. So it's easier to just drive out here and be here for when you move than to bring a bunch of vehicles and then complicate moving everything and it's no bueno. Got Duke on that northern chill stuff. I forgot his bowls. Having a puppy is so different than just, you know, regular going to work, but he'll be all right. I think he's going to do really good. He's already been listening super well, so been such a good boy. Have you been such a good boy? You're such a good boy. Yes, you are. Yeah. After you're on the planter for a little bit, you go back and check the depth of the seed to make sure you don't need to make any adjustments to your planter and make sure that it's getting planted in moisture. And we are all done with the southmost farm. <laughs> So the first day I was down there, we got a lot done. We got the second planter up and running. So Caroline and her dad were running planters. And this is a 12 row planter and we're using a seed tender to fill them up instead of bags. We do use bags at the end, but that's for later. So you go through, open up all the lids, they slide right off, it's super easy. And then we just filled them up and I'll explain that right now. I'm gonna hook the jumper cables up and that's what brings power to this little switch right there that we use to fill that up. The seed is in these cartons and then it comes down. There's an opener right here. So there's a hole in the bottom of the crate. It comes down through these tubes right here. And then it comes through these other gates right here. See, and then it goes up this conveyor. There's a belt right there. No. There's a belt right there. And then it goes up through the tube and the adjustable tube right there. And then it goes into the hoppers. And then it comes down through here and out.
And then while one person is filling up seed, the other person is normally filling up the hoppers with talc. They just put a cup in there and that is for the meters. Graphite. Graphite, not for talc? The, um, well, I called it talc earlier. Yeah. The, uh, the graphite for the meters. Oh, yes. <laughs> on the window but there's the second planter. <laughs> Heck yeah. <laughs> Way <Waving>. bad. <laughs> Even though they can't see us. Yeah, it's hard to keep clean windows in this dust. Yeah. And that is your fertilizer. Those bubbles, the little balls need to be up when you're in your rows because that means the fertilizer is going through the tubes. Very nice. So this is my first full day down here. Caroline, what day is it for you? Uh, planting. Is planting it is only four. Only four days. Four. So we're fresh into this, and there's a lot that I'm learning. And she's basically a pro. So they plant every year down in Texas around National Farm Machinery Show. So like February 14th is like their goal to start digging. Right? Yes. Yes. So can the National Farm Machinery Show move? Yeah. The date a couple weeks up. Whoever manages that go. show, <laughs> move it like a week sooner so that Caroline. <laughs> All right, and Bo had been rigging up the 24 row planter, so this is the 24 row, and he was putting a fertilizer system on it. So that's what that tubing is. I had to put those bolts in there, like that was a little difficult because that is not a very large space to thread a bolt. Okay, so I am zip tying the fertilizer tubes to the assembly, and then uh, Bo is coming through and clipping the zip ties and getting things situated, and then we're putting covers back on. So we have three points that we zip tie it at. It kind of loops around here. That's where the bolt was in. Um, so we bolted it in, you zip tie it under that, you zip tie it on that tube, and then it goes in right there. And then those covers get put back on. I'll show you what that looks like in a second. Now when you're cutting off zip ties and trimming them, make sure you cut them flush because if you don't, then if you reach your hand in there to fix something, it cuts you up on the zip tie little stubby that someone left at an angle. That's what I learned that day. Since Bo is the mechanically inclined individual around here, he went back and made sure everything was where he wanted it to make sure it wasn't rubbing on things, and that the tubing was set, and then we put covers back on. And then they moved the fertilizer tank over on the pallet. Um, that is going to be put in what's called a saddle, and then they're going to prop that up right in front of the seed tubware, <laughs> the seed bins, hoppers. So they're going to keep putting those tanks on and I am running a truck down to a field that another guy is bringing a tractor down to. He'll need his pickup down there and then there's another gal following me to bring me back to the shop to keep working on the planter. So getting her fueled up and then we'll take her down. And the AC doesn't work in this truck so we get to enjoy the windy little drive but at least it's not like the uh, South Dakota wind chill of like negative whatever it is up there right now. It's uh, the 24th of February and they are going through a big old snowstorm and I am very grateful that I'm down here and not up there because it's like 70 degrees. It's a little humid but perfect conditions. Perfect conditions minus all the fog and everything and humidity. It's warm and it's February and I cannot complain. So after I left the shop, plans changed and I don't think I was ever at the shop for the rest of the day, but we went and did fertilize, toting, and seed tendering, and I was running around all day helping make sure everyone was filled up with fertilizer and seed. <laughs> when the last time I recorded was. It was definitely this morning though when I was fueling up the truck. 
Um, since then, I picked up my dog from the house because it was getting hot outside. And since he's a puppy, I didn't know if he knew where the water was outside. And we brought another diesel tank over to the other field that they were going to. We brought fertilizer tanks to the tractors and seed. And th then we just moved fields again. So we're whipping it out. It's going really good. Um, but it's just been great. Like, I've been running stuff around with Jenny all day. Caroline has been planting with her dad all day, so we're just trying to help keep them going. There's so much behind planting other than just sitting in a tractor. Like, that is not how anything goes. You don't just sit in the tractor. There's always moving parts outside of it and everything else going on. So, running around definitely makes you tired. <sighs> My standard driving uh, abilities are questionable, but we are moving. Hi, Duke. So I am on my way to go pick up dinner. Duke is gonna come with me. And they got the fertilizer rig all set up. I think they got it all set up. It looks set up. And then they're hooking back up to the fertilizer tank to bring that back out to the field. It's a lot going on all at the same time. Stop. And then in this field, we're coming back from lunch. You can see where it gets, it's darker right there. Split half, kind of. That's because they're dualing. So that tractor has a little end point attached on the back of it that kind of flattens out the rows. Oh, there's the tractor. I was too zoomed in. But he's flattening them out and then it pulls the moisture to the top instead of planting into the crusty dry dirt. So right here you can see the difference between what's do all and what's not. So it's just taking this top and you can see how crusty this is. That's going to be harder to plant into. And it's a like pointier. This flattens it out. So hopefully you can see that. It's very nice. And then when they plant the seed is going to go on the top of this do all bed right there we'll go whoop i uh did not wear sunscreen today should have could have didn't okay we're at the end of day whatever it is it is currently saturday february 25th i think she gonna fill up the fertilizer. It's the 25th. It is the 25th. Okay. We've been running around like crazy ladies all day, making sure everyone's good to go on seed fertilizer. Um, I washed her sprayer this morning because uh, she was planting and then she got kicked out of the planter and someone else got in the planter. And then we were moving trucks and fields and ba da 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 da. So it's been a very full day and it's 6.30 and the sun is still out. So that is lovely. <laughs> Delicious. All the fertilizer is running with no leaks, which is awesome. Um, we're gonna load it up with seed. We're gonna put some talc in the little meter housings. Also, they switched out the seed tender spout, so that one now will fit into the seed tub awares of the 24 row because the other spout with the adjustable handle won't go up in there. Put some talc right in there. Shut that. Good to go.
making some minor adjustments. Nothing much to sponsor us. <laughs> Caroline on the knife. <laughs> Twenty twenty three brought to you by Smuckers on Crustables. And then the fertilizer trailer got a flat tire, so we just left it there. Went back and pumped the fertilizer out of it and left it. And then I helped Bo run some tests on the twenty four row pointer. He turned on one row at a time and the seed was measured by the computer inside of his cab. I just had to move the bucket and make sure all the seed was landing in the bucket and then put the seed back in the hoppers when we were done. <laughs> All right, all folded up. We're draining the water out of the tank that he was testing the fertilizer tubes with earlier. That all can come out of the big hose in the back. And then we're gonna fill it up with fertilizer. And I'm gonna follow him to the field. And get all situated and run it with the 24 row. The other 12 row is running right now as well. And then I'm pretty sure the do-all is running as well. Uh, so there's a lot of moving pieces still, always. Say hi to YouTube! <laughs> you make it seed tender. Got to fill it up with those. And that is what it looks like when you're emptying a seed tote. So that hole in the bottom and where that opener is, you can see the flow increased when he pulled that. So that's basically what's happening when that is on the seed tender. Most important stop. If you don't have diesel, you ain't going nowhere. In this one, we're planting at seven and a half miles an hour on the 24 row planter. Bo has it all set up, so you just plug and chug away. Just getting her whipped. They let me drive it. I don't know why they let me drive it, but this is an 8360R and he has two displays up in here so he's got it all set up. And then everything is automated, so basically all you have to do is lift and lower your planter and then hit auto. Like that's it. And then you can run at eight and a half miles an hour, like eight miles an hour. And the screen shows you where you're skipping, where you have doubles. So it's literally just like a technology job. You could put anybody in this seat and tell them you push that lever and you hit auto and throttle up and they'd be able to do it. So, do you have anything else to say about it? <laughs> when it works, it works. <laughs> <laughs> Now we are all done with the planter. We're bringing this back to the shop to keep fertilizing the field that the 24 row is in right now. So we brought the fertilizer rig back to the shop. We took all the, these connect right in there. You pull them out and there's a little orifice, little washer basically with a tiny hole in it that fits on a small wire. So we put them all on a wire. There's 12 of them. We don't have the right orifices. So I'm gonna go to town tomorrow to get those. And now we're doing something with the fertilizer rig. Probably go fill the boys up and keep them rolling. So since we can't put all the orifices back in that fertilizer rig, we are moving the planter back to the shop. Well, one of the planters. The other two planters are going right now. We're moving that one back. And yeah, it's just a huge, big old shuffle. Also that fertilizer trailer <laughs> with the flat tire is still sitting back there because we do not have the time and resources to fix that right now so we just pumped all the fertilizer out of that and on to the next thing it got popped out too far gotta bring up the reinforcements good okay we good my 
Robin. Okay, that is all we have for this week. We'll be back next week. Bye. Bye. <laughs> and as always, hasta la pasta.